everyone it's Mitchell here I never thought that I would have to make a video like this but after seeing how I've been literally publicly humiliated by someone that was supposed to be one of my closest friends I feel like I just have to say something I'm gonna be opening up about my recent history with my friend Tessa before I begin I've never ever ever publicly negatively spoken about Tessa and this video is in no way to harm her reputation or bring her down in any way. As I always say, we rise by uplifting others. And after seeing her deflect on this whole situation that she's getting backlash on, I just have no choice other than to speak up and defend myself for once. Tessa, I know you're watching this. All I have to say is that I am truly sorry that this is how our friendship had to end even if this was a one-sided friendship i really did care for you a lot and the fact that you get a little bit of backlash from something and instead of taking accountability you deflect on it and try to bring me down with you it sucks that i'm making this video you know a few days ago when i was literally doing that one video we were on facetime i was literally crying with you on facetime because i missed you and two days later you want to remove me everywhere you want to talk down on me just because you cannot take accountability for your actions. What type of friend does that? But anyways, I'm glad that this happened right now. That this didn't happen way later on in the friendship. Where it would have hurt more or it would have been more hard. Because honestly, in my opinion, losing a best friend is worse than a breakup. I truly do wish you the best. I really hope that you do not continue to make these same mistake with your future friendships. Okay, so I'm going to give you guys a little backstory on how me and Tessa met. So me and her met through TikTok lives. And I know this is super ironic because this literally started on a TikTok live. We exchanged phone numbers. We started FaceTiming literally every single date. Like I could you guys not. We would go to sleep on the phone, wake up on the phone, and we would just be on FaceTime all the time. Like that's how close we were. And then Tessa's quince comes up. Tessa invites me to her quince. But as we all know, I do live in Texas and she lives all the way over there in LA. Of course, I wanted to be there for my girl. Like I didn't want to miss that moment, especially on how much she insisted. She wanted me to be there, how she would talk about it all the time. To make this trip, I literally had to make so many sacrifices. And I will talk about that later on in the video. I ended up wanting to take that risk for her because she was my friend. And I really, really had a lot of love for her. I want to address some allegations that have been made. Tessa, in her live video, she goes and says that I used her house as a hotel. It's important to clarify that whenever she kept insisting and when we made the actual plan for me to fly out over there, she kept reassuring me that it was okay for me to stay at her house. I don't find it fair how she insisted so much for me to actually be there for her to say that I used her house as a hotel when i booked my flight i got a round way trip so it was to go and to come back whenever we booked it we had already talked about the arizona trip which i'm going to talk about in a little bit like okay so i went and i go for a quince in two more days and then we leave to arizona right and then i come back and i take my flight back that's what the plan was and that's what happened we were both super excited talking about it how we were gonna go on a road trip how we were gonna do this how we were traveling together how we were doing this at such a young age as you guys know when i was at her house everybody was t telling me oh, go home i was getting a lot of hate i was getting a lot of hate and we all we all seen it about me being there and not once did she back me up maybe she did bring it up like two or three times but it was because i said it first i was like look at the comments are all telling me to go home yes i did hang out with other people over there in la i didn't see it as something bad yes i'm at her house but i also don't want to invade her privacy too much or her family's privacy you know what i mean like i don't want to be there 24 7 i was there at her house with her like for a whole week then that's when i started like that's when i went out to with other friends but the first time i went out we did a music radio me and Fabio, we did a music video and that's why I went over there. Like, it's not like, oh, bye, see you later. I'm going to go party without you. Bye. So it was a professional setting. We were intended to invade their personal space. So I really find it weird that that's how Tessa's portraying it 
on life. If they thought I was treating her house as a hotel, why is it such a problem if I go hang out with other people? Tessa also mentions that I missed, missed her birthday. I did miss the beginning of her birthday and I'm gonna tell you guys why. If you guys make music or if you guys have ever been in a music video, you guys know that recording a music video takes a while. When I got home, Tessa was not there. Now, she had texted me, she was like, hey, um, I'm gonna go, she said she was gonna go to a party and to let me know if I was gonna stay back at her house or if I was gonna stay over there. She was basically asking me, where am I gonna stay the night? Because she was going out. I'm gonna show the message right here where she was basically telling me, she goes, since the event is around Amanda's after, I'm gonna head over to hers and stay there over the night because I wanna go to Six Flags tomorrow. And then, cause at the time, I don't know if you guys remember that I wanted to go to Disney because I've never been to Disney, but she had already gone to Disney. But at first she was saying she wanted to go to Disney and then she changed her mind. And she was basically telling me that I could go to Disney if I wanted to, but, but that she was gonna go to Six Flags. At this point, I'm not replying to her anymore. And she goes, you can always come with us tomorrow Six Flags if you want, I'm just saying. And I go, yeah, I don't wanna go alone. I wanna be with y'all. I'm here for y'all. She goes, it's because I don't want you to miss out on Disneyland because of me. I know you really want to go. And I go, bro, shut up. Today's your birthday and you're not here. Sad face. What if I take an Uber to... She goes, I'll see you soon. And I just go, okay. So, baby girl, if I missed your birthday, was because you didn't want me there. I literally told you, what if I take an Uber to the person's house that you were in? You basically told me no. The energy was literally already off and I felt as I was being pushed away. So Tessa in her live video kept saying that I wasn't the person that she originally met, which is super ironic because that's the same way I felt about her. But not only her, her and everyone around her. They'll have one face when they're in front of you and then they'll switch it back whenever they turn their backs to you. And I'm not gonna lie, I feel really uncomfortable in that house, which is another reason why I left and I did not wanna be there. So now we go into the most important part of the video, Arizona trip. I'm not excited to talk about this. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not excited at all. In the Arizona trip, this is where everything took. A turn I literally felt targeted as soon as I got into that Airbnb as soon as I got there I went to my room and I put my stuff down and I went live and by the way me and Tessa were supposed to share a room but she preferred to take her stuff to go to another room so she could sleep with someone whose name I'm not gonna mention right so I was basically alone in that room because the other girls that were supposed to sleep with me, they were not there yet. Well, with me and Tessa, but with me. They had not arrived to the Airbnb yet until the next day. I'm in my room alone. And after socializing for like about 20 minutes, I'm like, okay, I'm going to go to sleep now. So I go upstairs and I basically fall asleep watching a live. At four in the morning, I get wakened up by someone trying to crawl into my bed and try to cuddle with me. I open my eyes. And I'm like, what the hell? Like, who is this? Obviously not Tessa, right? In my head, I was going to be alone all night because there's no one in this room but me. I open my eyes and I realize that it's Angel. He's there in my bed at four in the morning trying to cuddle with me. I do not remember every single word he said because I was like, I literally had just woken up. So I don't remember everything he was saying. He was kind of like mumbling, like trying to not make a lot of noise. I remember telling him, I was like, now you care? And he was like, I've always cared. Like you didn't care when you were with that blonde girl. Anyway, I go back to bed. And since I had already slept for a while, I couldn't go back to sleep anymore. Like I had already waken up after telling him to leave. So I was fully awake and I go downstairs. Everyone was still awake around this time because it was like four in the morning and everyone was just like having fun. So everyone was down there. And the first thing I see is Angel with Tessa sleeping on the couch, cuddled up together. Right? That's the first thing I see. I'm like, okay. I, I was shocked. I'm not going to lie. Like, I was like, bro, didn't you just try to go and cuddle with me? And now he's cuddling with my friend because I didn't take him back. Honey, you are rebound. No, I'm okay, I'm sorry. He was just in my room trying 
to get back with me or trying to cuddle with me, trying to sleep with me or whatever. And I don't take him back. So he goes to you. I'm just like, whatever. And I go back upstairs and because obviously I'm not going to wake her up and be like, bitch, what the fuck are you doing? Get up. You know, there's nothing I can do, you know, whatever. I go upstairs. I'm not even going to say anything. I'm just going to stay quiet. I go to sleep. Tomorrow's the next day, right? As soon as this day starts, there's literally so much tension. And I'm guessing that, like, she thought that I didn't know. Or I don't know if someone told her, like, oh, met you seen you to get... I don't know. But there's a lot of tension. Like, I could you guys not? Tessa literally ignored me the whole day. Like, she walked in front of me, walked past me, wouldn't even look at me. She wouldn't even look at me in the eye. Like, it's like she was too embarrassed to even say anything or to even tell me anything. She was just ignoring me, straight up ignoring me. Now, then the girls that, that were supposed to sleep with me, they come in and I start to meet them and we were, we're just talking, we're just there, whatever, right? That day was a day that, I don't know if you guys remember, I was live singing, right? I don't know if you guys remember that one live singing. And then you guys can hear me. They come into the room that I'm singing in live and they knock the door and some girls are telling me that some girl wants to me, right? This is something that I haven't talked about, but I feel like it needs, I, I need to say, like, I just cannot bite my tongue anymore. There's a group of girls, they were all coming at me, but only one of them hit me. She literally physically assaulted me. I don't know how old this girl is, but she's definitely over the age of 18. She literally ends my life on me. And Tessa and these other girls literally just sat there and watched. Nobody in that house defended me. They just watched. They didn't do nothing. This girl, the one that hit me, she was literally drunk. Like she was like bad. Like she couldn't even swing right because she was so drunk. Like that. that's how bad she was, right? So obviously me, with long ass nails and me being completely sober i'm not gonna fight someone who's drunk first of all i'm not gonna fight in general like i literally came all the way from texas to this house i don't even know who this girl is never seen her in my life probably will never see her again and i don't know why she's trying to fight me literally the only reason why she wasn't able to keep hitting me was because angel came into that room grabbed her and took her out and locked my room so nobody could come in because that girl was going insane there was only two girls at that party who actually were there for me that night i was literally crying like i was in my room crying i did not know what to do I was like what the hell am i doing here like what am i even doing like what's the point of me even being here when i'm just here to have fun to come to um brisa's event and this girl over here that i've never seen in my entire life just wants to pull this on me, like what the hell, right? Anyways, the next day, I'm talking with some friends and I end up finding out that the reason why these girls came doing this was because Tessa made up a rumor. Tessa said that I was recording that girl and I was showing everyone how, like that everyone that was on my live, how drunk she was and that I was exposing her on live. First of all, never did that. You guys know, you guys were there, you guys were watching me. I never once showed a drunk girl or me trying to humiliate another girl. I've ne I never did that. Like you guys were literally there. You guys were there watching me in that live. I never did that. Turns out that it was Tessa instigating the whole thing, which bro, I was so confused. I was so disappointed. I literally flew out all the way over here for you. And you're gonna instigate a drunk girl to physically assault me? No, that's just, that's just insane. That's actually insane. That's, especially coming from someone who you thought loved you, it's crazy. Now, we're not talking to each other at all. She, she was ignoring me, so I started giving her the same energy back. Cause obviously I'm not gonna go and, you know, beg for her beg for a friendship like you should never have to beg for a friendship so i'm not gonna be begging for for a 15 year old to be my friend you know what i mean so i'm just letting her do her thing i'm with my other friends over here the last day that i was there right me and my friends we went to the mall because i honestly i'm not gonna lie i did not want to be in that house at all after that happened i was so embarrassed like 
I didn't even know what was going on. Like that did not need to happen. So I put up with my friends and we left. And then whenever Tessa was live, she was over there saying that I wasn't spending time with her. Baby girl, why would I spend time with someone who instigated another girl to hit me? How does that make any sense? How can you be so hypocritical on the internet and show one face to the internet so they can look like the angel and then do this behind the scenes? I obviously know that whenever we were there in AZ and in California, like it was supposed to be for us to spend time together. And I understand that I did wrong in leaving with my friends. But you guys also need to understand that there is so much tension in this house. There's so many things going on. I know a little too much about the whole situation. Like, it's just natural instant. Like, obviously, I'm not going to want to be there if all of this is going on. After I got physically assaulted the day after, Tessa and I were alone in the party. Like, we arrived earlier than everyone. Well, she arrived. With, she went with her dad. I went with my friends in an Uber, by the way. So, me and her were there, and we were talking. And she asks me. She's like, why aren't you talking to Angel? And I go, why would I talk to someone and she goes, it's not like that. What do you mean? It's never like that. We're just friends. And I was like, y'all are just friends, but y'all are sleeping with each other? And she was like, it's not like that. And I was like, are you sure? And she was like, yes. And she was like, so you're not going to talk to him? And I'm like, no. What the hell? I literally had not mentioned him coming into my bed at all. Trying Like, I, I didn't. Because I seen that they were together and that they were, like, you know, getting to know each other. So I was like... By the way, this was the first time we spoke. This was the first time we spoke. We spoke once when I was live and she, she told me, she was like, I have to tell you something about. And I was like, okay. Pause it. Pause it. Pause it. I feel like it was, I just wanted to tell you. I was like, not having waiting if I tell you. That was the only thing. That's literally the only time me and her ever like even talked throughout that whole Arizona trip after that first night happened. Whenever Angel arrives, she literally goes straight up to him and then we come back to where the place where we were sitting and she goes and she goes and sits on his lap. So I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, girl, you just, you literally just told me that you and him were nothing like that. And you're going to go sit on his lap. I was like, whatever. I don't even care. I was just there. I was just trying to get lit with my friend Brisa and my girl Grace, which I'm, oh my God, I love them. I forgot to mention this, but she did text me and i'm gonna read you guys the messages um she goes okay so she was asking me about angel because she had asked me already she was like do you how do you feel a certain way about me and angel girl she had my passport back in cali and i still had to stay with her a few more days before i left back home so in my head i was just like okay i'm just gonna get through these three days and i'm gonna just go back home you know, like, I'm just going to go back home and everything's going to be over. She goes and says that, oh, they were never official. Baby girl, he was already cheating on me with the blonde girl. But okay, whatever, that's not the point. I really don't want to talk about it because he is probably the biggest clout chaser I've ever freaking met. This man, you know how she mentions, oh, whenever you have clout, you will do anything for it. Yeah, that's your man, baby girl. That's literally what your man does. I did encourage her to go and follow her feelings. But I didn't anticipate that she would take my response against me. If anything, it was kind of more of like a loyalty test to see where she really stood. Whenever those viral videos of her and my whatever went out, the first thing that she did was call me and basically she calls me crying saying that I need to go on live and clear her name up for her. Like I guess defend her in a way, but she was like clear my name up, right? I told her, Tessa, I'm literally at a party right now. So first of all, she didn't even ask how I felt, she didn't even ask me nothing, 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 nothing. Just calls me and straight up starts demanding for me to go clear her name up for her. I was like, I'll do it tomorrow. And she was like, okay. And then she sends me a video, which I'm gonna play right here. Guys, I don't, I really don't know what to say, guys. I like, just leave it alone, bro. She sends me that video and she's like, bro, you lied. You didn't even care. You don't care about me. You don't care that this is happening to me, that I'm getting all this hate blah 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 right and i was like first of all you haven't even seen my instagram story right because i had already told her that i was going to do a live the next day but i had already posted on my story which here's a story posterity the only thing she cared about was her reputation what i was going to say to defend her other than not even asking me nothing and now let me tell you guys 
I did not know because she goes, oh, she knew, she knew, she knew. I did not know about these videos, sweetheart. I'm not in your close friends and you know it. She goes, you lied, bro. I saw your reaction. You literally said Pancho was your friend. He got you with all the cheese, man. And you're okay with all this happening to me. And I was like, what? You haven't even seen my story. She goes, um, no, I haven't. I'm on TikTok. And I go, that's why, right? And then she watches my story, but she doesn't say nothing about the story. So she goes, like this being said, a story isn't going to fix. So she's basically telling me that my story wasn't going to fix anything. Just because on that video that you just watched, I say, I don't know what to say. Leave it alone. So I respond to her and I'm like, bro, are you seeing that correctly? Like, you're going to come at me for this? Like, are we both watching the same video? Like, I didn't even speak bad on your name you know like i just said i didn't know what to say so she was basically coming at me for telling you guys to just leave the situation alone and that i didn't know what to say but like bro you guys gotta understand that i was in shock like there's just no right words as to like reacting like like what is there that i could possibly say you know knowing the internet how like people like to twist words around so i was just like okay i gotta like process this first before even saying anything i wasn't even gonna make this youtube video at all because i truly do feel like this is so unnecessary i think it's crazy how i didn't have to force anything or do anything for the actual truth to come out but this is just like i said another lesson for all of you people that are watching that nobody's your friend and that if you do something wrong trust is gonna come up to the light one way or another whenever she started coming at me for saying that my story wasn't gonna fix anything I was like, all right, I'm going to delete it. I already felt so belittled because when she was asking me to help her with her reputation, she literally had zero empathy. Post something about it, which first of all, I didn't have to do that. I didn't have to embarrass myself like that on, on my Instagram. Instead, to like make things faster and have the, the hate to be stopped. That's why I posted that because I do not condone hateful comments. I do not condone them at all. If anything, you guys know how much hate i've gotten ever since i started i've literally gotten so many hate comments so seeing that she was going through the same thing because of a situation that included me i did not condone it at all and i really wanted it to be stopped because regardless of whatever she did nobody is deserving of such mean comments even if we do social media or not we all still have feelings and i really did feel bad that this was happening to her so i was like okay let me do this like fast or something fast that i can type and show it out to the people so you guys can stop we all make mistakes why am i gonna defend you when you don't even care you didn't defend me when when that girl hit me you didn't defend me when i was getting so much hate i'd never seen her post anything like or even tell you guys to even stop. Oh yeah, they're all coming at me because I'm still here. You want me to leave? <laughs> they're coming at you for so being here. Guys, oh, I'm TV for today. I'm going to the fair. Meche has other plots. I honestly would have never expected this from someone who I thought was so close to me. But it also comes to show you guys that not everyone is how they make themselves seem. This is kind of like a little lesson for you guys. So you guys learn to not trust bitches. No, I'm <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> not for real. This is a lesson so you guys can know to not ever, 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 ever trust anybody. Sometimes in life, we go through moments where we just have to pause and be like, why is this even happening right now? And this was one of them, for me, at least. Yes, even though I am older, there's just things that even me, a few years ago, I wouldn't even have done that. Because it's all about respecting boundaries. Like, there's lines that you shouldn't cross. I don't even want to put myself in her shoes. I don't even want to think about what could she feel. No, I don't even want to do all that because I would have never done that to you. For context reasons, I do want to include the Lucas situation in this video so you guys can understand even more on how I felt before going to AZ. Basically, Tessa introduced me to Lucas as her bigger or older brother and we literally all seen the situation of how he was excluded from the trip he literally took train after train after train to come from where he was at to la so that he could be there on time before they left to az right and one hour while he was on the train 
one hour before arriving to LA, they literally canceled on him. You're telling me one hour before? I'm on my train already. I am sitting in my train. I am about to fucking get to the Union Station in an hour. And you're telling me now, you're, you're calling me, asking me, how are you getting to AZ? The reason that this happened was literally Tessa, bro. And Lucas went and he defended her name and cleared her name. Like, no, I'm an outside perspective because obviously i have no say in this like i have no say in who's taking lucas because first of all i'm a guest in her house i literally had no say in this so i couldn't really do anything about it but as i'm seeing this is how she's treating all of her genuine friends so this is why i'm speaking on it today right now tessa was the reason why lucas was excluded out of the arizona trip and i'm not scared to say it. i'm done biting my tongue i'm done covering up for someone who's gonna go and expose something so vulnerable of me just because of a guy. As I was seeing and watching all of this happen with Lucas, I literally couldn't help but think, what if I was in his position? What if I was stranded in the middle of LA in another state because he's not from California. Nobody wanted to help me. Like I was, I was just like so many things were going through my head. I was like, bro, like what if that was me? Like you know. And I told Tessa, I was like, do you realize how messed up this is? And you guys want to know what Tessa said? I could you guys not. I'm a quote unquote it because what she said literally stuck to me. She goes, he is trying to gaslight you. He got what he wanted. Now you feel bad for him. That's all he wants for people to feel bad excuse me as we all know lucas is literally one of the kindest soul that i've ever 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 even encountered we all know how nice lucas is this is how you're treating family this is how you're gonna treat someone that has done so much for you that has taken so many flights just to see you that has done so many so much stuff for you and the people who surround you and this is how you're gonna treat him this is how much a friendship is valuable to you? Lucas was literally stranded in the middle of nowhere where he where he had already paid to go to AZ. He had already paid gas money. You're just gonna take him out just because you feel like he is an like an, an authority? And how can you be so hypocritical to to tell Lucas that oh there's no more space in the in the Airbnb for you? Excuse me? You guys had party after party after party where hella people came to the airbnb so lucas wasn't there was no space for lucas where he had already paid and gave gas money but there's space for other people who just want to come here drink out of y'all's drinks and then just like stay over the night because most of the people were passed out drunk everywhere and they wouldn't even leave till the next morning but there's no space for lucas and I think it's crazy how even after that, you will still go on live with him. I, I think it's crazy how you will literally do all of this to him. So much harm because who knows what could have happened. He could have gotten kidnapped, girl. Do not know how many dangerous things. Do you ever think of anyone's other feelings other than yours? I understand that maybe Lucas made a mistake and yeah, he was drunk and he accidentally showed your quince. Do you even understand that what you did was too far? And now you're doing it with me too. And I'm not gonna sit here and tell you I'm surprised because I'm not surprised. Snakes like you will literally do it to me, to Lucas, to other people. And I, who knows who you're gonna do it next. You need to stop being so self-centered and so selfish that you do not think of anyone's feelings other than you. And I think it's crazy how you're saying that I used your house as a hotel. What about all those people that are literally staying at your house right now? Are they paying the bills this month? Are they gonna pay you? Why don't you tell all those people that are that have been staying at your house and that will continue to stay at your house? Are they using it as a hotel too? What's the difference? What's the difference between me and them? That they're literally dick riding you? That's is that the difference? What do y'all have in common? That all of you are double faced? So whenever Tessa told Lucas that he wasn't able to come anymore, that he was uninvited, she was literally on a FaceTime with people that I'm not going to mention. But there was people in that group chat where she was sharing her screen and they were all trying to come up with like a sweet way to tell Lucas that he wasn't able to come anymore, but to still like make him not feel bad. So, so she could be the victim and I was there next to her listening the whole time. Now, I know you guys are going to be mad at me because you guys are going to be like, well, like, why didn't you say something? Why didn't you do? Guys, I tried. I tried to say something and... Like I said earlier in the video, Tessa just told me 
that Lucas was just, was just trying to make me feel bad. There's nothing I could say, but now I can. Honestly, I'm really sorry, Lucas. I wish I could have done something. Like, if you were in here in Texas and I had my car and we could go everywhere, then it would be a totally different story. But sadly, I wasn't able to do anything, so I hope you forgive me. So now we're going to go into the most controversial part of the video, which is going to be my age, my real age, and why I did it. So yes, Tess is right, I am 16. I must clarify that nobody knows. Well, now everybody knows, but I'm talking about like, as in before. Now, you guys are probably wondering, how were you able to graduate? So when I started high school, I started taking extra classes. So I would go to school from 8.30 to four, and then I would get home, eat, and right at five, I would start night classes from five, to nine so that's literally how my whole high school experience went and i was able to graduate two years early i was a 15 year old senior for half of the year and then i turned 16 and i graduated um i was born in 206 i'm about to be 17 in a few months you guys are probably wondering like why didn't you ever say anything like okay maybe i get it for the lives but like outside of lives why didn't you say it? i shared this with tessa tessa knows my story i never shared my story out loud i'm about to be probably the most vulnerable i've ever been on social media i was born in mexico so yes i don't have papers around when i was like seven or eight my mom came to the united states like she just came here to work right me and my brother were basically just with my deadbeat dad for like about a year until we came over here we finally were able to come live with my mom obviously we didn't have that much money and we still to this day we still don't have like a lot of money like that um everything i have i've worked for i've been working since i was eight when i came here to, to the united states as soon as i got here even though i was in school after school me and my mom would make like cakes and i would go into every single restaurant and go to every um table and I would sell my cakes on restaurants and my mom working and that, that's how we made our money. And then, okay. so coming into the United States, I was basically the mother of my siblings. Like I've always been the mother of my siblings. My mom has always been a hardworking woman. She's sacrificed so many things. Like there's been times where we literally don't even know where our next meal is going to come from. There's been times, because of course we, we don't have papers, so it's not like we can just go, oh, let's just go get food stamps. Like, no, it doesn't work like that. There's been times, so many times, where we've had to go to churches so they can give us groceries and they can help us. That's how much like we needed the money. And I started doing social media and actually, when I had the opportunity to actually like be exposed to other people i seen it as a way to make extra money right as you guys know i am not going to college as of right now i was hoping that i would get a scholarship but that didn't happen and i know i'm always saying like oh i don't want to go to college i don't want to go to college i don't want to go to college but i actually do it's just something that i cannot pay right now so me doing social media I i've gotten so many opportunities that i know for a fact that i wouldn't have been able to have that wouldn't have been given to me because of my age it hurts that tessa knowing all of this that i've gone through so much like there's so many things that has happened to me that i've gone through and i open myself up to her i tell her about why i lie and why i say i was 18 one day she just gets exposed up for doing stuff with whoever and then all of a sudden she wants to bring me down knowing that that could potentially ruin some stuff that i am working on and some opportunities that i know for a fact are going to be taken away from me because of my age but it's okay you know everything happens for a reason whenever a door closes another one opens I'm truly disappointed that she did that, but it turns out that 
Tessa has been plotting this. Before we went to AZ, before this whole thing happened, I'm not sure when she did this, but she took a picture of my passport. Yesterday, after she exposed my age, she sent me a picture of my passport. So she's been planning this because she already had something in mind so that if anything went down, she was gonna use that against me. What type of friend does that? How are you gonna just sit there and be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna have this just in case something happens? Because my age is really the only thing that she knew that she could actually harm me with because of the opportunities that I obviously haven't talked about on live because it's, it was supposed to be a surprise, but if it doesn't happen, then maybe I'll tell you guys, hey, this didn't happen, whatever. So when she had the chance, she took a picture of my passport. Bro, do you know what she could do with that? Like, she could, not even, not even with my passport, but even if she was to post it or even herself, that could lead to me getting my identity robbed. Like, someone can steal my identity. Like, do you know how serious that is? I don't know if it's your age. I don't know what it is, but if you don't know what you could do with someone's passport, you shouldn't even have someone's password. So Tessa, since I know you're watching this, I am asking you right now to delete it. You don't understand how much harm you could do to me. You're gonna stoop that low just because of a man that literally cut you off after I left for that same man who literally publicly humiliated me as well. You're gonna go that low for a guy? I thought you knew better. I, I really thought you knew better. I do wanna apologize to every single one of you for lying about my age. I'm still the same meche. Um, my personality has been the same. It will stay the same. It's just about the opportunities. It's not that I intended to lie to you guys. It's just that you would do it too for a check. I'm just kidding. I know it's not okay and take 100 percent accountability because i know that it's wrong i do want to specify that all of the people that i've ever talked to did not know about my age pretty sure they're all just as shocked as you guys are when i was younger i was basically forced to grow up i didn't have a childhood it was either me working or me taking care of my siblings i know it doesn't justify the fact that i still lied the money that I've been getting off of social media, it literally does not stay in my hand. It literally goes towards my mom, towards groceries, towards car insurance, towards taxes that have been behind for a while. Yeah, sometimes there's, you know, things that I do nice for myself, like when I flew out over there and stuff. But the money that I make on social media, it does not stay towards my towards me. It sucks because I feel like me lying up of my age, I feel like I might have lost you guys' trust trying to help my family out i really hope that i can make it up to you guys because it's wrong my friendships have always been so valuable and important to me i do prioritize honesty thank you all for being here for taking time out of your day to listen and to hear me out I really do appreciate every single one of you for supporting me and understanding me and being here for me from now on let's focus on the positivity and let's keep moving forward remember Take care, stay true to yourself. If you have any questions or comments or concerns, leave them in the comments below. I love you guys. Bye.